Good evening, everybody. I wanted to make a little another short vlog. I keep making vlogs like at the end of the day when I'm tired and I look old and everything else like that. Like <laughs> dead woman walking. All right, but um, I wanted to briefly talk about something about like um, near death experiences and things like initiation to magic and stuff like that. Now, like, to clarify, I myself, through my near-death experience, had an initiation to shamanism, and it ended up being a path that kind of picked me as opposed to me seeking it out. Now, like, to those of y'all that are, like, curious about that kind of thing, that, um, you know, are just kind of wanting to know, just to know, like... I highly recommend that you just talk to other people about it. Oh, I got a text message. Anyway, um, lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. Use the utmost discernment and protection and um, things like that because, like, you don't know what you're getting into. Now, I have met people before that, like, did not have very good discernibility and um, they had an interest in magic and they ended up actually manifesting a partner that actually was possessed by like several entities that were not good and um, she had to seek out like another practitioner because this was before I was actually like a magic practitioner medical type person. Well, really, I, I wouldn't call myself like a quote-unquote magic practitioner. I would call myself an energy worker. And that, like, I just simply work with energy. So I use my best discernment. I'm one of those people that before I even do something, like, energetically to somebody, I will double, triple check myself to make sure I do things properly and correctly. And I always ease myself into it like with the utmost caution now that goes with anything that goes with ghost hunting trying to take EVPs poking around burial grounds and seriously do not poke around Native American burial grounds that is the fastest way you can get your ass cursed before you can spin your head around like Beetlejuice and I'm not kidding I'm serious like I live out um, by earthworks and several sacred sites and I have known white people that have gone and fucked with it and some not very nice things have happened to them after so like again be very careful um, me personally like through my heritage I am one of those few people that like I have received like an uh, anointation and I've done several spiritual journeys with native elders and stuff like that in order to prepare me and I don't even see myself as even being close to ready to be done with it. This is going to take like the rest of my lifetime and maybe even after, I don't know. But um, yeah, like if you don't have like any kind of like ancestral tie to anything like that take my word of advice and leave it alone just leave it the fuck alone like don't it's a hot potato for you don't pick it up <laughs> I'm serious yeah um anyway um what else was I thinking it goes the same like with like even in like your soul groups too like I was talking about soul groups on my prior video um, some soulmates I've come across that turned out to be toxic. I wish to God I'd never met them. Some of them still get on my nerves. Like I have a friend that is, uh, is female in this life and they were my wife in the past life when I was male and they still have the same personality quirks. They still get on my nerves the same damn way. Like it's weird. I remember them being annoying the same way. It's funny. Like I think your soul holds like a certain amount of like your personality and quirks like for example OCD <laughs> is a good one um, yeah but if I'm gonna try to get like my multimedia set up working better to do more readings I keep trying to do readings and like I swear something happens 
I'm about ready to switch over phones. This phone is probably needed to be switched and I've been procrastinating to do it because every time like I try to do a reading I end up having something with this phone jack up and my sister has a camcorder that we have to find the parts to and she's disorganized so that'll probably happen like never um yeah but again like Use sense, seriously. And if you have to, pray with your church or whatever. If you really feel like you need to do this, spiritual protection. Alrighty, thanks for listening. Hawaisha tepeki, hawaisha kishiki, or good night, good morning, wherever you are, what time you're watching this. Alright, bye. Oh, and if you like my channel, hit the like button and subscribe. I know I just make little vlogs, but if you find me interesting, I, I enjoy that, so. <laughs>